First off, how's that feel? ACC specials of the week, everything. Going to get that award coming in your freshman season? Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's awesome. It's a blessing, you know, to be in this opportunity, especially coming in as a freshman and doing it. What week is it? Week five. Um, it's it's really cool, but uh, definitely couldn't do it without, you know, the whole field goal team. Uh, you know, just just having guys that are that professional like Clay and and Holden really helps a lot. What was going through your mind on uh, on each block kick um, each time it happened against FSU on Saturday? I mean, nothing really. It's just um, you know, just on to the next. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, I got a lot of trust in the guys up front. And, you know, they do their job and I do my job. And sometimes, you know, it, it doesn't go our way and, and you just got to bounce back. Coach, we kind of talked about how you didn't get, like, overwhelmed in, situation, in a situation where after each kick you went, you went back and made another field goal after each one, I guess. Where does that come from where you just put it to the side and just go back out there? Yeah, and Coach Sweeney put me in, under a lot of pressure in the, in the fall and the spring, you know, really prepared me for that, um, that time when, when it doesn't always go your way and being able to, handle adversity and bounce right back. So I think that was a big thing in, in that is just coming out. It's another kick. Just go out there and, and make it. There's all ways to put pressure on you. I think you've heard like kicks that yeah. everybody has to run if you don't make it, like what types of things. Just like that, um, you know, just putting us in certain situations, game-winning field goal, um, you know, just guys all around us at the end of practice, just adding on as much pressure as you can just for that opportunity. Um, you know, just to go out there and, and something like that does happen. How are you going to bounce back? You can't go out there and be like, oh, what's going to happen now? You know what I mean? So just going out there, it's another kick. Um, you know, him putting pressure really helps, though. Have yeah. you ever hit five field goals in the game? You know, um, you know I'm, it might sound crazy. A lot of people don't kick in high school, but I probably have had five or six in high school in one game. Um, yeah, so that has happened. I don't know if I've – yeah, that, that definitely – Mm, yeah, I've gotten really close to it. Yeah. What's it like to do that in college? Man, it's awesome. I, I think you don't think about it as much. You know, I I think back at the game and I'm like, I had seven field goals, and it's kind of it goes through your mind really fast. And the game goes so fast that you don't really think about it. So, you know, it's just it's really cool to be out there, especially in Tallahassee. It's it's awesome. And what's it like doing it like in a true road environment? Just have to take it home for a few weeks. I mean, for me, it felt the same. Um, nothing really ever changes on the road for me. It's the same kick. It's the same uprights. It's the same distance. Nothing. It's not wider. Um, you know, just I think that's that's that shows the same thing. Going back to the pressure coach Sweeney gives us, it, it kind of was like, okay, this is the exact same thing I faced in practice, and I do it all the time. So, you know, what's what's changed? Chris Work sometimes talk about depth perception. Does that change at all in different stadiums? Not for me. Um, I can see how some guys would, maybe in those indoor stadiums and, and that kind of stuff, but not for me, no. What did you think about, um, I think, I forget on which block kick, but Clay Sweeney uh, recovering it, so uh, FSU would get the big game. What, yeah. what was going through your mind in that? Situation? That's an athletic play, and it really shows you, you know, Clay is, is such an athlete, you know, just going out there and being able to see it, because I don't, I mean, I kick it, I'm looking for the ball, I'm like, where is it? So he, for him to be able to spot it like that, it really helped us because that could have been a huge moment in the game for us if that didn't if that didn't get recovered by him. But huge hats off to him because that he really saved us there. Your, your longest was like thirty eight or so longest so far since you've been here. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like lining up for that one? Just that you had a lot of yeah. more chip shot against. That was yeah. Like, yeah. Um, you know, just like I, it sounds yeah. like crazy repetitive, but it's the same kick. You know what I mean? So just going out there, 38 yard, we do it literally every single day in practice and, and just being able to, okay, here's the same kick. You know, you run out on the field and, and line it up like nothing different. I guess what's the max range in which you feel comfortable? Um, I've said this, you know, just it's it's depends on the day, it depends on the weather, it depends on, on really everything in the game. I go up to Coach Sweeney and Coach Sweeney knows, you know, where I'm comfortable from. Um, you know, just any time, I mean, I mean, you've seen in warm-ups. I mean, usually just go back in warm-ups and hit as far as I want. And after warm-ups, I'll tell them what that range is, so it differs. If you, I guess if you miss, like, a, let's see, kick once, I guess 60 yard, for example, um, you miss it, then you make it again. I guess do you tell Coach Lee you feel comfortable there, or how many times do you have to make it where you feel like I'm comfortable whenever, you, where, whenever you need me? Yeah, so I wouldn't say it's – I mean, it's, it's all confidence. I go out there with confidence. I can make any kick you line me up for. And, and my brain is, is I'm going to go out there and, and, you know, I'm just going to do what I do. 
and I know that my confidence is going to help me, um, and he knows that also. Uh, so, you know, just a miss doesn't affect me. So we'll go right back out there and do it again. Any questions for Nolan virtually? Anybody else in the room? Who's the coolest person you heard from um, after you did it on the weekend? Like anybody chiming in? Um, so before the, uh, before the Stanford game, I believe, uh, Hugel was on the sideline. And so I grew up watching him. So it was, it was big to be like, whoa, this is the guy I grew up watching. And we talked for a little bit, so that was really cool. So, uh, yeah, um, there's been a lot of people reaching out, overwhelming support, and, you know, just a lot of cool people and a lot of cool stuff um, to be said. Anyone else for Nolan? All right. Thanks, Nolan. Thank you all. Thank you. I'll wrap this up in here.